I can still remember the bicycles, the canals, the windmill, the fancy houses. Hey, hey guys, are you okay? Hey, hey guys, are you okay? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jesse, your nurse, slash aspiring baker, slash traveler, slash friend. So since my content in my channel are about traveling the world and tasting it, for this episode guys, I'll be baking a pastry that I tasted in Amsterdam. So last December, I was able to travel to Amsterdam and encountered a lot of bicycles, witnessed its beautiful windmills, fancy houses and its canals. And of course, I was able to try Tongpus, which is a pastry composed of layers of puff pastries and custard filling in between. And for that, we'll be using a puff pastry, milk, vanilla extract, egg yolks, granulated white sugar, cornstarch, icing sugar, and a red food color. Okay, so let's start. For the first step in making a tampus, first, we'll be making a custard filling. In a saucepan, you will heat the milk and then add the vanilla extract mix it and then let it simmer okay so guys this time you have to preheat your oven at 200 degrees celsius for your puff pastries later and then while we're heating the milk and the vanilla we'll be mixing eggs and sugar so we'll be using two egg yolks mix the granulated white sugar and then half of the flour And then you will also mix 2 tablespoons of warm milk. And then add the remaining corn flour. And then next you will add this to your warm milk. So you will add your egg mixture to the milk, let it boil, and then whisk until it thickened. Once your custard filling is done, remove your pan from the heat and then transfer it to a wider container. Let it cool for 1 to 2 hours and then it will be ready. Okay, so after making the custard filling, let it cool inside the fridge. And for the meantime, you'll have to make the sugar glaze. So now we have the icing sugar. You'll mix the icing sugar with 1 teaspoon of milk. Okay, so you can add more milk depending on the consistency of your sugar glaze. Did I say teaspoon? No guys, so first I mix it with one tablespoon of milk, then I'll add another one. And then also you can add the red food coloring. Okay, and then after this, you can set this aside. Okay, so this should be the consistency of your sugar glaze. You will set this aside and then you will go on with the next step which is baking the puff pastry. You can make your own puff pastry or you can just buy from the supermarket. Cut the puff pastry sheet into 8 equal rectangular pieces measuring 5 by 12 centimeters each. And then now you will transfer your puff pastries into a baking pan with a parchment paper. To prevent your puff pastries from puffing too much, prick holes into your puff pastries using a fork. You will bake this inside your preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes 
or until it changes its color to brown or golden. Okay, so on your eight puff pastries, you will apply the sugar glaze on top of your four puff pastries and then next, we will fill our tompus with the custard filling. So guys, this will be the top layer of our tompus. Yes guys, we are now done making our tompus. Yay! <laughs> tompus which is the best pastry that I tried in Amsterdam, Netherlands. So here it is. Yay! Okay. As you can see, there are two layers of puff pastries. And at the middle, there is the custard filling. And on top is the sugar glaze. Okay, so you can eat it right away. Or best if you will wait until tomorrow but since I cannot wait <laughs> I'll try it now okay so while I try my tompus I'll be relieving my Amsterdam memories I love it guys this is just the same as the tompus that I tried in Amsterdam, really. Oh. I can still remember the bicycles, the canals, the windmills, the fancy houses, everything guys this is really messy when you eat it but who cares I love it <laughs> okay guys so that's all for this episode so please watch out for more uploads because next I will be baking macarons eclairs or maybe tarts or maybe Italian cheesecakes and many many more many more pastries that I tried during my Europe tour so watch out for more and if you like this video please hit the like button below if you have suggestions reactions or any comments please comment down below and please guys don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell okay so thank you so much for watching I love you all keep safe always thank you and Kishe Mah